Hi, Tim here with Clive Coffee. We're going to share our top five tech tips for using the ECM Casa 5. When you're using your machine, your water reservoir will run low at a certain point. If that happens, you're going to hear a change in the sound of the pump. So we'll go ahead and run the pump and show you what that sounds like. So as you saw, the water stopped coming through as, as freely as it was before. If you're in the middle of a shot, you will notice that your shot starts to just peter out and you will notice that change in the sound of the pump. All you have to do is refill your water reservoir. At that point, you'll be ready to start using your machine again. Often, people want to know when using the CASA 5, when is the machine ready? When is it ready to start steaming? When is it ready to pull a shot? The way to read the gauges and the lights on your CASA, this orange light on the bottom left, if you're looking at the machine from the front, is a very important light. That is your heating element light. If you are in coffee mode and your boiler has refreshed after a shot, you will notice that orange heating element light is pulsing. It's starting to reheat the water that's in the boiler up to its preset temperature. That light and your element will continue to pulse until it reaches that set temperature. As soon as the light is out and you see this machine has stopped flashing the heating element, you know that your boiler is up to its coffee temperature. The same is true for steaming mode. You will see the light flashing as it's heating up to temperature and as soon as it has reached that set temperature, the light will stop flashing your heating element will stop pulsing. So as soon as those lights are off and stable, you know you are ready to pull a shot or steam milk. Because your CASA 5 does not have PID feedback and your temperatures for brewing are preset, the question about what can I do to get the best flavors out of my coffee is a common question. If you are using uh, a lighter coffee versus a darker coffee, you have a couple of ways to use the machine to produce the best results. We always recommend trying a shot with no cooling flush. So just load the, the coffee into the portafilter and start pulling a shot. See how that tastes. Lighter coffees will tend to work pretty well without a cooling flush because you get a little bit of a higher temperature, just over 200 degrees. If you want to minimize the bite or the bitterness on a darker coffee, you can try a five second cooling flush. So we suggest trying it without a cooling flush or trying it with running your group head for five seconds and then pulling a shot, that's your five second cooling flush. And whichever works best for your coffees is how you should brew. If you are experiencing some leaking from underneath your machine, you might have the drip tray out of place. There's a bit of water that will drip down and it's just underneath in the middle of the machine. If your drip tray is out of place, it will hit the back of the tray and can leak onto your counter. The other reason you might experience leaking is if this tray that sits inside, if you have the hole in the opposite direction, the water that drips 
from inside the machine into your drip tray is instead hitting the back of this grate here. So you want to make sure that this hole is in place correctly. And slide that all the way back and that will typically minimize or eliminate the leaking that you're seeing. Your machine is a single boiler machine. When you switch over to steaming mode, you will need to reduce the level of water in the boiler. You step through that. I can show you in just a second here. When you are steaming and in that steaming mode, think about active steaming only. When you are done steaming, you need to refill that boiler so that your heating element is never at risk of being exposed if your water levels start to uh, drop in the tank from sitting there over time. So active steaming only, which means when you're steaming milk, you're in steaming mode. And as soon as you're done, you need to switch back into your coffee mode and refill that boiler. We're watching for our heating element light to get the boiler temperature up to that preset 250, 260 temperature. Again, that orange light will be heating. As soon as that goes off, we know that our steam temperature is set and ready to go. And now, As soon as you're done steaming, you want to switch back into coffee mode. That way your heating element is not left at low levels in the water. Um, if that drops in the boiler, you don't want to expose that heating element. So we're going to fill that boiler back up as soon as we're done steaming. Those were the top five tech tips for using your ECM CASA 5. For other information on using your CASA 5, check out the links here. And for more tech tips, visit our knowledge base at clivecoffee.com.